Hello everybody, I am Joshua and welcome to a part 6 of Let's Build a House in The Sims 3. Now I know it's been a little bit of time since I have done an episode, but I'm back here again. And um, as you can see, we have the house right where we left off. So before, we started, before I started recording, I was looking at this wall here and um, I was unsure what I wanted to do with it because it's just, it's a bit flat and ugly. Um, and it's also a bit of a challenge because it's like right on the edge a lot, so... You know, it's going to be a bit challenging to work with, but I'm going to see what I can do. Also, the rear of the house needs some work as well, because there's a giant gap in the wall. But hopefully this episode we can finish the structure and exterior um, windows and doors and paint and stuff. And then so next episode we can move to the interior, which is always exciting. Um, the first thing I want to do actually is continue this, um, what do you call it, this wall here. So let me just put in constraint for elevation. Also, speaking of constraint for elevation... Make sure I spell this correctly. Constrained floor elevation falls. Speaking of constrained floor elevation, it has been confirmed that there will be no constrained floor elevation in The Sims 4, which is um, just fantastic. I mean, you know, just just great, just absolutely great. Yeah. So also, there's no move objects on either at this point. Um, they claim that they, they it's like they say they know they want it. They, I mean, they they. The developers of The Sims 4 like, oh, we, we know, we want it too. Then just put it in the game. I don't understand why it's so hard. Uh, so yes, there's no, as, at this point, there's no move objects on and there's no constraint for elevation in The Sims 4. So that's just fantastic. Also, there's no basements, half walls, or what else is there not? Um, I'm trying to think, I just discovered it. I think it was like last night. I was um, um, hearing what the, oh, geez, that's not good. I was, um, watching The Sims Supply and listening, because he, he was at the creator's camp for The Sims, um, and oh, that just wrecked everything up. So, um, you know, I was listening to what he had to say, and oh yeah, yeah, there's no terrain tools, so, oh my god, what have I done? Hold on. <laughs> there's no terrain tools, so um, pretty much what that means is that you can't edit terrain in The Sims 4, which is just a massive, oh, here we go, that's what I wanted. It's, uh, it's just a massive um, disappointment. So no terrain tools in The Sims 4. So no editing any kind of terrain at all. It's just, uh There's no creative style, of course. It's just, I don't know. I feel like The Sims is going in the wrong direction with The Sims 4, but I guess we'll see. Um, anyway, let me just finish this wall off here. And, um, yeah, so let's just kind of get a bit of constraint for elevation going around here. Now, I think this is a kind of a nice wall design. It's, um... I don't know if I want to do something different in the back here, um, but I kind of want it to be more opened up because, after all, there's a beautiful view there, and you could probably have, if you could build off the lot, you could probably have a pretty nice um, little pathway or something. Let me just build this, continue this, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this wall. Maybe ivy or something, I don't know. Um, anyway, right here, I want to kind of put some kind of opening. I don't know yet, um, of course. Um, so let's just kind of come in here and add the wall in. I'll put the hedges in later. It's not not of utmost importance at this time to put the hedges in. Yeah, so there we go. A bit of a wall. Um, yes, so oh, what do I want to do? Um, mm, the cheater shakes are nice, but maybe I could have some variation in it. So I'm going to see if I can kind of put some, I don't know, something else in the middle here in between these two, um, what do you call it, these two things. Hold on, I think I did this wrong, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It should be like that, and then we should have that be able to, oh, I did that wrong too. Oh, mine needs to be, wait, this one here. There we go. There we go, so now it's able to place stuff in the middle. Um, yeah, so this, I wanted to add a bit of variation in the wall here because it's rather plain. Um, what did I just select? Okay. It's rather plain, it's just all a giant wall of sheet or shake. So maybe if I add something else in here, it might um, add some interest. I think, I think it would look nice. Oh, just messing up all the wall here. Um, what else can I put in? So I don't know, I don't know what other material I want to introduce. Oh wait, what was that? What's this? You know what would be nice is if it didn't have that lines there. That's very annoying. Oh, how about white cheetah shakes? How does that look? Um, I'm not sure. I guess it's not bad. 
I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like that. Maybe maybe that's in that's an option. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. So I think that is what I want to do. So I'm just gonna. Oh. Oh, I did these all wrong. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me just get these in here. Um. Yes, yeah, so I think that this is looking much better if I do this. Um, just because it needed a bit of variation, and I think that all the dark sheeter shake was just, just too much. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know about this part either. Maybe is it, does it look better like that? I think it does. All right, that looks a bit better. Um, yes. Also, I don't like the sheeter shake in the middle here. Maybe some, <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe some stone. This tree wasn't in the way. There we go. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. Uh, that chimney over there is glitching, which is really annoying as well. Um, so yeah, so this area of the house is kind of an eyesore, this angle bit in this whole back corner um, thing. So let's let's try to work this out. So if I kind of just remove this kind of overpass, which is a little bit weird, um, and maybe connect the house a bit better. Let's, oh, oh my god, just go away flooring. Um, yeah, so let's get rid of all this, and um, also get rid of the floor tiles. Oh no! Let's remove the, the bit of wall. I did not want to remove. Okay, let's just remove all this wall here. Oh, jeez. Remove this wall here. Um, and there we go. Alright. That's better. And this flooring here. Just all go away. Alright, there we go. And these columns, and this door. And that door, I don't know what I was thinking. Ugh, this is so hideous. All right, so that's better. Um, now to remove the foundation, I just need to turn this cheat off, so it's going to be a little bit less troublesome. So I just get rid of all this here. Um, yes. All right, that's much better, indeed. All right. Um, yeah. So I, I just turned on the game audio. That's just a bit of a cut there. Hopefully you didn't notice because it's kind of loud. Hopefully it didn't bother you for the beginning part of this video. I don't know. Uh, just. Every time I update like my graphics card or something, it resets all my game settings, including my audio, so it like made it really loud. Which is very annoying. So hopefully it's a bit better now, it's a bit quieter. Um, yeah, so that's hopefully a bit of an improvement. Anyway, I'm just removing all this unnecessary excess walls. So I just need to figure out exactly what I want to do with this space, because um, it's very weird. It's all kind of angled and stuff, and it was just not a good design. Um, yeah. Whew. So maybe if I build here and kind of just fill this in, um, and then it just kind of, whoops, comes like this, like that, comes there. Ah, oh, the game still sounds loud. Oh, I don't know, whatever. Um, just come in here. Oh, is this still too loud? I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Maybe sound effects. Turn those down even bit more. I don't know if there's any noticeable difference there. Okay, so let's just finish this. I don't know, is that better? Well, obviously, I'm going to do all this, too. Okay, uh, constraint for elevation false. Let's can continue here. And there, and there. Um, and around here, and here. And, oh, look what that's done. Level all this out. And some more walls. Hopefully, it's not too flat. Um, build there, build there, build there. Okay, that looks much better. Hopefully that's a better shape as well. Um, I think it is. I think that looks better. Um, I hope. Um, so let's... Oh, yeah, okay, there's no freeze on top, so let's... i just put that in. And remove ex excess floor tiles. Also this roof. This roof is hideous. Oh, I can't... I, well, that didn't really do anything. Hopefully that helps a bit, and um, connect it there. Uh, th this whole this whole section here is just ugh, it's just really ugly. Um, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do is just get rid of this because I think this is not helping at all. Is this whole section here? And for some reason, I can't get rid of these walls. Let's get rid of all this. I, th I don't think it looks good. Oh my god, I can't get it. I don't think it looks good at all, so... You know, it's just going away. There we go, get rid of all that. I think that looks much better. Um, just like that. Whoops. And if I... Kind of, maybe if I put... Kind of roof on it. 
All right, forget that. <laughs> um, hold on, let me try this one. Nope. All right, you know. Oh yeah, that that looks just great. Um, maybe does that actually look better? I think so. Um, and let me just get this hipped roof in, so it kind of all connects nicely. There we go. I think that looks better. Um, let's actually put the stone on it. Obviously, it's not all going to be stone like this, but... Oh, is that the wrong stone? Wait, what? Why is this stone lighter? Oh, I don't know. Did I lighten the stone up? Okay, well... Yeah, all that's lighter stone, but the, all the foundation isn't. I don't know why the stones are different. That's really weird. Whatever. And also, that should be stone there. And these can be stone as well. Though obviously we're going to come in and add in some more details and stuff, so it's not all going to be stone. Actually, I might right now just make this not stone. Um, just, just so it's a little bit better. Oh my god. What? I, I swear I got that. And, you know. So, hopefully that looks better. And also up here. Yeah, I think that looks better. Um, yes. So, around the back here... What I'm going to do is, oh, this, this, um, painting is so annoying. Um, can I just mute the sound effects while I paint this? Sorry, <laughs> I know it's going to be really quiet now, but, oh, it's driving me insane. The sounds of wall texture paint, is just, oh, it just drives me nuts. Hopefully The Sims 4 will have better sound effects. At least, I mean, at least they could have better sound effects. Um, so I'm just going to finish off this edging here, um, which that goes there, and there you go, so that looks quite nice. Also, I want to get the white um, shingles in here, let's start there and there, and just kind of, you know, finish it off. I think it looks nicer if you have a little bit of um, difference in it, otherwise it's all the same pretty much, so I think it looks better if it's, whoops, if it's kind of um, changes out here and there, I don't know if that's the best way to say it. You know, it's like different colors, I think it looks better, because, you know, it's, it's too much of the same color, and I want to add a bit of a white trim on this as well, if it's going to let me. Come on. Oh my god. See, I mean, I love creative style, it does take a long time to load, but I would rather, oh, are you serious, is it going to make it a different color? Um, I'd rather have this than, oh, oh, I know what it is. I'd rather have the creative style than no customization. Well, there's customization in The Sims 4, but it's quite limited. Um, you know, so I'd rather have this than than almost nothing. Um, hold on a moment. And let's just drag this on here. And oh, yeah, it's the wrong kind. Um, grab this, put it on there. Grab this, and put that on there. There we go, look at that. But that's great, so now I have to, no, that's not right. Let's go back and change everything to this texture, which is just joyous, so that's that there. And I believe I have it here, and here, and on the side. So it's a slightly darker color, there we go. Um, and let's get the borders on, which, you know, just adds a nice little bit of detail, which I like to have. Um, I always like to have the white, the crisp white borders, otherwise it's just kind of all blends together. I don't know, it's just a thing I like to do. Um, I think it makes it look a little bit more finished than it would normally look. Alright, so let's just do that and just come over here and get the borders over on this side and remove the X. What? Why did it just do that? Oh my god. Sometimes it goes into like shift mode by itself, which is really annoying. Well, it's just gonna like... It like does this without me holding down shift, which is super annoying. And I don't know why it feels the need to do that. It's just ugh. All right. Anyway, I think that's good. Um, I could probably have more on the edges of this here, so here, and there. And hey, see, we just did it there. It was deleting for some reason. Oh, actually, I think I want the stone there. I don't know which stone to use. Ugh, which stone's the right one? No, that's the wrong texture. Believe nope, that's the wrong stone. Wait, is this it? Yeah, that's it. I don't understand why I have different colored stones. I have no idea what happened. Let's come up here, there, and make this stone. Because I, I kind of like the stone as this part. I don't know. Let's 
finish it off. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's not bad. Um, let's get some more. Why is all this stone? Oh my god, all this stone is different. Um, yes. Hold on. What is going on here? Oh, it's because that end goes there. And this goes in, which is kind of odd. Um, oh, so how did I do this in the front? Oh, this is so tedious. <laughs> Doing all this painting, I hate this so much. Um, so let's just get it over here. Oh my god, you see what I mean? It did that without me pressing shift. It just did it. Oh, I, don't, I don't understand why it feels the need to do that. And let's just grab the sheet of shakes here, here, and here. And um, this goes there and there. And that goes there. Alright, that's good enough for now. I will probably come back and just touch it up later. Um, but, oh, no. To be honest, I want to do landscaping. Um, I know I said we finish the outside, but oh, I have to do windows and just no, I don't want to do windows and doors right now. I like landscaping; it's just fun. So we have this kind of interesting area in here, which actually I think we can have like a side door here or something. So let's just bring the walls down um, and get the. I want to have a diagonal. Oh my god! I just turn off the cheat quickly and. Um, yeah, I think that's nice. Kind of have a little bit of a an angle to it. I don't know. All right, so let's get some landscaping in here. Um, my favorite part, interestingly enough, has become landscaping. Um, oh, yeah, move objects on is always a necessary thing for landscaping. Um, also, I like a larger bush. There we go. So let's get some bushes in first, just to go like along the house, um, kind of around this tree. And another larger bush there, and maybe down this fence, kind of. Um, also, maybe one along the garage there. Um, yeah, that's probably good. Let's get some flowers. Um, not pink. Where's the yellow? Here, yellow. Let's kind of put some yellow flowers in here. Uh, I love these flowers, and I like the, um, the what do you call it? The these bushes here from Supernatural. They're actually really useful because they kind of look more realistic than a bunch of other bushes in the game, um, which is nice. I like that. Um, get some white flowers in here just for a little bit of um, I don't know what you. Oh, I don't want that. Um, a little bit of what's the word I'm looking for? Contrast, I guess. I don't know. Get some pink flowers in. Um, some more white. Um, what else do we have? These are pretty nice. I actually like these. Bushes, I believe they're from World Adventures. They're, they're quite nice looking. Um, get some of those around the place, and of course rocks. I, I always think that rocks are so important. Um, these are really large rocks too. Let's actually get a nice large rock in there. Um, and a really large rock over there, just because, I don't know. Get some smaller gray ones in the, uh, just scattered around as well. Now I really like adding rocks because it just, it just adds so much extra detail. I feel, um, and a bit more realism, and of course dirt terrain paint, that's so important, um, just, oops, very light, very light dirt, um, and kind of just brush it underneath all the, all the stuff, um, very technical term there, and under here, and over there, and there you go, so that's actually, pr it's pretty simple, just front landscaping there, um, I'm probably going to put something in this corner here, so let's come down here and grab this bush. And actually, I realized I just turned—I turned off the sound. I can actually put probably put. The, oh, don't place the bush in the house. Hold on a moment. Let me let me um, bring the sound effects back. There we go. Bit of sound now. Sorry, I turned them off and I forgot to turn them back on. Um, actually, these are nice plants too. You could maybe put some of these around the place. Let's get some in here. Um, back there. And maybe one in the corner here, if it wasn't floating on top of these tiles. There, um, what else do we have? Actually, I could use some stuff in bushes. I guess some ferns would be nice. Let's get some ferns. Um, and kind of fill in some space with some ferns. Whoops. Um, put some in there, actually. There you go, and I'm also I'm holding down Alt to rotate it all, so it kind of looks more natural. Um, let's, also, let's get some white flowers in here. I think that'd be a nice little change. Um, and get some of this and one of these you know just just to kind of um, oh that's actually where the stairs are gonna go hold on my bad move that in a bit uh, I'm gonna put stairs there so it kind of comes down 
um, and so you can more easily ooh that's a large rock it can more easily access the garage or something if you need to um, yeah that's pretty nice let's get some dirt in there and of course a bit of dirt terrain paint very nice um, also the driveway now when it comes to the driveway I'm thinking of actually using this I don't know Hold on a moment. Let's see how this looks. This is a very... Let me trump the brush strength. Very interesting um, driveway material, but it could be interesting. Um, it could it could look pretty nice. Let's see. Actually, I really like that. I think that it looks nice. Um, obviously, we're going to have to get some more trees in. Um, yeah, so let's get a bit more dirt. So just to patch up the areas where I put the driveway. Also, in the middle, I want kind of a fountain type thing. I believe there's a, there's a really nice fountain, I believe, from, oh, what is it, Showtime, I want to say. Um, so actually, let me look for that. It's somewhere, somewhere in here. Oh, I don't know where. I think it's in decor, probably in sculptures. Um, let's see. Yeah, here's some fountains. What am I looking for? I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. Let's see. Is one of these any nice? Oh, this is it, actually. Perfect. Is that from Showtime? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a, that's a really nice fountain. Um, I like that. I've used it um, a few times before, and I think it's a really nice fountain. Um, anyway, let's, what kind of trees are we looking at? So we're just looking at pines and stuff. Um, we can get one of these. It's actually a nice tree. Um, kind of get it just inside the wall there. I think that's nice. Um, ooh, this, this is a beautiful tree. I actually want more of these. Can I just grab one of these? Yeah, these small birches. Um, maybe a larger one that would be nice. Um, Kind of just put it in here. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe one there as well. Just to kind of go around the house. I think that looks nice. Um, maybe one next to the gate here. And um, what else? Some of these. Um, small spruce trees, perhaps. There's a couple there. I don't know. Oh, is that nice? How's that look? I think that looks pretty nice. Um, let's get some dirt again. Oh, why is it such a small brush? Some dirt um, under these trees, of course. Oh my god, I can build wherever I want to. I can terrain paint wherever I want to terrain paint. Stop telling me I can't do that, you stupid game. Oh my god. Um, Alright, there we go. Also, I kind of missed the terrain paint around there. That looks very nice. Um, so, over here, in this kind of little area... Um, you know, it's nice to have a bit of grass in your landscaping, so what I want to do here is put a car, I believe, so let's, um, let's get a car, a uh, car parking spot, that'll be nice, um, it's gonna get a car, so it's like a parked here, and, um, what kind of car do we want to park? I think I want this one, just because it's classic, um, I want, nope, I want the parking spot, um, that looks like it's too close. I don't know. I if it's like this. Kind of in there. I think that's okay. Put the house. Yeah, I think that looks alright. I got like a car parked. Or maybe if it's facing the other way. Hold on. So if it's like... Like that. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So kind of like the car is parked there. Um, going round the driveway, perhaps. Um, also, let me get a garage door in. I never put a garage door in. Um, which garage door do I want to use? We have a few choices, actually. Um, oh, I hate the sounds. Um, there we go. I think I yeah, just did the base game one. I love the base game garage door. It's like the one I always use, even though there's a bunch of others. Oh, it's just, just something about the base game garage door. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, I think, the front landscaping. I actually really like that. I know I didn't finish the house. It's just some reason I like to do landscaping before I finish the house and I don't know why um, it helps me kind of imagine what it's gonna look like I guess um, I get some more of these windows in it's just around here and they're all facing the wrong way and yes it's something I have to do all the windows in my house they have to face the right way and it drives me nuts if one of them is not faced the right way like because you can tell like you can see like, that's not right you can see like the little um thing in there, like the little thing for opening it up. So it, so it has to be facing that way. Yes. Um, let's, get, let's just finish up the windows here. There we go. 
It always looks better when you, when you see it coming together with windows and everything. Um, also, let's get a nice window over the front door. I think I know I want to use the one from the base game, which is... That one doesn't fit. Okay, that's great. Um, what does fit over there, actually? Well, that does. That doesn't, no, it doesn't. Um, I don't know. What, what, what would look nice there? Ah, uh, I don't know. How about that? Just... I don't know. Whoa! Bit of a spinning camera there. Um, oh, I don't know what to use here. What's just a nice... Nope, that's three wide. What's just a nice window I can use? That's, um... That, you know, it's, it's kind of anchoring the house in the center there. I just kind of want something that... Oh, is this from the then and now Sentry Manor set? I believe it is. That's a nice window. I'm actually might going to use it over here. Oh my god, all the sounds. Um, yeah, that is a nice window. Actually, would that look better over here than these? Let's see. All those go away. Instead, let me see what it looks like with these in here. How are the, the ones in the middle are all facing the wrong way. No. Alright. Okay. Oh, actually, that one is the end is two. There we go. You know what? I think I like those a lot better. Um, yeah, I do. These are really nice windows. Are they from the Colonial Mansion? Yeah, it's the end of the century manor. That's nice. I like those a lot, actually. Um, yeah, almost if I put on move objects on. Um, and how does this look here? Oh! I hit the wrong button. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, how do you put the walls? Okay, they're up. Okay. Um, how does that window look? No, there's just nothing. I can't find anything that just looks nice there. Um... Hmm, it's a bit of a challenge. How about two of those? Hold on. Actually, that's not bad. No, it's not like that at all. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, no. I can't, I can't figure out what window to use. Um... That's not, not very fancy, but... Does it, does that look alright? I mean, I guess that's alright. I don't know. Also, I like the color of these windows a lot more than all the dark colors, like this. I think just changing all the windows over to a cleaner white would look a lot nicer. Let me just do that quickly. Um, it's gonna come in here. This is the only downside of doing landscaping first, then you have to go through all, look through it all to get to changing colors and stuff. But I don't really mind. There you go, that looks nice. Um, also these windows, too. I think would look nicer if they were kind of a more cleaner color, and for some reason they are darker than the other windows. I don't know. I believe there's windows behind this tree. There are indeed. Um, let's get those in the color, and um, yeah, I think that's it. I think the windows, they look a lot crisper. It looks a lot nicer when they're white. Um, also, all of these windows up here, if I just um, kind of just go move objects off so I can actually do this, all of these um, should be replaced with these. These look a lot nicer. I like these windows a lot. Um, and also, I might put these down the sides as well. Let's kind of just put these in here. Yeah, yeah, I think this looks alright. I don't know. There's a lot of windows and stuff down the side of the house. I don't know. Um, whoa. The only issue I have with the side is it's just very big and plain. Um, I, I like the look of it from the front, but from the side it's just really, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe if I get some ivy. Where's the ivy? I know it's somewhere in here. Decor? It's not a sculpture, is it? I don't think it is. I think it's under potted plants. Mm, yes, it is. Get some of this. This is just ivy from the store. Um, just some typical classic ivy. You know what would be really nice about this, though, is if you could raise and lower it on the wall, which you can't, so it just kind of goes on the wall wherever it goes. I don't know how to best, to, how to best describe it. I know there's others from the store that are nicer than this, but I'm not really in the mood for buying stuff from the store now, especially with The Sims 4 coming out. It's like, who's going to spend money on The Sims 3 unless they intend on playing it? I don't know. Keep on playing it after The Sims 4? Just uh, I don't think I want to buy anything more from the store. Or if I do, it's just because I have excess Sim points I want to get rid of. 
Um, I don't know, how's some Ivy luck? Oh, jeez. I don't know, that doesn't look too great. Um, maybe some trees. Hold on. Come down in here. Um, get move objects on uh, so I can actually do this. I don't know. How's that look? Just some trees. I don't know, just some stuff down the side of the house to kind of make it look better. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do with that. Um, so it's quite a challenge. Also, I'm thinking of a pool maybe here. Um, so if I kind of do this, I want to do a curved pool, like a really kind of fancy curved pool. But um, um, I'm not very good at that, so oh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, yeah, so let's see here. I'm not very good with curved pools, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. This could this could be bad. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I need a 2x2 two two curve here. There we go, that's very fancy. But now we have to remove this here. Get like a 1x2 one, a one curve. Hello? 1x2 curve? Nope. Okay, 2x2, two two, 1, okay. There we go. Um, let's get rid of all of this. Hold on a moment. Um, yeah, so let's put this in here. So it is going to have to go one up along the edge a lot, but I guess I guess that's what's going to have to happen. Oh, look at this. This looks atrocious. What am I doing? Um, ugh. This is why I don't usually bother with curved pools, and I just do square pools, um, which can get boring, of course, but... I don't know. I don't know. That's a decent pool. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know. I'm not good with curved pools. Um, I guess that looks alright. You know, we can get a get one of these trees again. A small olive tree. This is such a nice tree. I don't know what it is about it. And get one kind of on the edge there. Kind of going over into the pool. I think that's pretty cool. Kind of get that on the edge there. It's kind of like leans down over the pool off the corner of the house. I think that looks pretty nice. It also kind of balances off the edge of the house there, I don't know. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. Um, yeah, again, it's just this side of the house that I have problems with um, because of its just flatness. Um, if you look at the house from this side, it's not, not a thing of beauty. So, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit of a difficulty, really. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, we kind of got kind of far. Um, in terms of landscaping, it looks quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And um, also check out my channel if this is the first video of mine that you're watching. And of course, subscribe if you like what you see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone!